Hey, uh, Seth Garris here. Today I'm going to be playing some more Banner of the Maid. Uh, just put down my translations for Fistaria Saga HSOS 18. So that should be out within a few days. But in the meantime, uh, let's get on with more Banner of the Maid. So chapter 3, up and coming. Um, so actually, funnily enough, I was like going to load the save and I came down to the bottom here. And I was like, 226, yeah, that's right. And I realized this is 2020. That, uh, yeah, yeah, directly a year behind my old saves. Ha. Huh. So that's a good meme. Uh, yeah. I think it is just ready to move on to, uh... Ah, yeah, it's the map. That's how you start it. Chapter 3, up and coming. This time, France is under the threat of many hostile forces. In order to turn the tide, the assembly appointed Napoleon as the commander-in-chief. On the Italian battlefield, the enemy of the French is the Austrian army. And the reinforcements of the Prussian army. The battle here will decide the fate of France. By the recommendation of the royal family, Pauline was also sent to the army d'Italie as a commander, carrying the banner that once belonged to the Maid of Orleans. Orleans, Pauline came to Italy, a land she's unfamiliar with. It goes too fast! French army camp, Italy. Said goodbye to Josephine and left Paris in a hurry. I set foot on the land of Italy. I was promoted with the support of the royal family. Just when I was about to put my ability to good use, I encounter an unexpected situation. So my comrades, in order to spread the light of freedom and glory of France to the entire European continent, let us fight together. What on earth is this young lady talking about? It sounds exactly like Napoleon's speech. But it sounds... It does feel somewhat exciting. Hmm. Well eaten. Enthusiasm is a good thing, but we must first be clear about our situation. Instructor Dion taught me about the swordsmanship in the Ecole, Mil the Ecole Militaire. Although he's an old man now, he still petitioned Mar Marquis Lafayette to join the front line. He was a diplomat serving the royal family when he was young, and there were some really astonishing rumors of it. This time, he was appointed by the Queen to join me in Italy. And this is Joachim Murat, a very brave cavalry commander, but he's a bit arrogant, and he's not obedient to anyone except my brother. In addition, he likes to wear exaggerated uniforms, which seemed really impressive when I first saw him. Status quo. The status quo is that we don't have enough supplies or equipment. Even worse, we don't have enough troops. Also, currently, the morale of the Armée d'Italie has improved thanks to the arrival of your brother, General Bonaparte. The military discipline is so sloppy, and Paulette is nowhere to be found. Says Jean Lons. <laughs> Jean Lons, an officer with outstanding records amongst the revolutionists. It's just that he's not very satisfied with the troops, as they are currently in bad shape. There's still an artillery officer left. Where is she? We're leaving soon. <laughs> Should we wait for her? That drunk probably didn't even receive the orders to marshal forces. It's the first battle I'll face in Italy. The most important thing is to win everyone's trust. It has to be done decisively. Mm. Just an ordinary reconnaissance mission. Gather your troops and proceed as planned. Yeah, let's decide. All these idiots joined our army. Okie doke. So I don't really, uh... Actually, I guess there are some items we could equip. Consume during mission, permanently increase HP by one. Oh, uh, it's neat. A stat booster, okay. And then you could sell these for money. Are these already equipped? I think they're already equipped. Yeah, Pauline and Dion. I don't know. We'll leave the stat booster for now. Yeah, I'll just deploy. 
If you ask me, I'd say her brother is of course very capable, but making this young lady commander? What's wrong with the big shots and Betty? <laughs> She's not as weak as you may think. She's already established brilliant achievements in Toulon for a few months huh? ago. Really? She has? Uh, she hasn't said a word for quite a while. Is she too nervous? If you care so much, why don't you ask her? Big deal. Eh. Commander, it's about uh, almost time to... There's some infantry and artillery stationed on the lower terrain. Most of the enemies are gathered around the village on the mountains. We should separate them into three groups and defeat them respectively. Sure, sure. First, deal with the infantry regiment in front as quickly as possible and then engage the skirmishers that approach, throwing them away from the clumsy artillery. Then rush to the mountains, eliminate the defending infantry using the terrain as cover, and regrouping before confronting the enemy's main corps. Hmm. Uh, What's the uh, matter, Monsieur Mirat? I was about to fi uh, find you. The enemy has a lot of light infantry. Can your uh, cavalry handle them? Haha, <laughs> a piece of cake. Just leave them to me. I've been waiting for these battles ever since I arrived in Italy. Excellent. Please get prepared right away then. I like brother like sister. Something changed? It seems you don't look down upon her now. Speaking of which, Monsieur Lance, do you have any comments? I'm not one of those representatives from Paris. I do not judge a soldier solely by their appearance. <laughs> However, those in Paris send us only a new commander, while the food, supplies, and equipments remain unimproved. They couldn't care less about the troops on the front lines. Take it easy. Since she's the sister of General Bonaparte, let's see what she's capable of. Problem encountered on the battlefield can only be solved on the battlefield. Well then, let's start with this battle and kick the enemies back to where they came from. Yeah, grass gives you dodge. And also, we have now added in, like, well, I mean, it's not added in, but I mean, like, printing in the whole weapon triangle. Which, Dion is strong against these guys. I mean, he's definitely not in range. I don't know why I would check there. Like, how much damage do we do with the experimental musket? 11. Eh, fuck it. I mean, we're gonna burn through its uses real quick. Actually, you know what? No, yeah. There is enough enemies on this map that probably shouldn't just burn through all the uses. Yeah, these guys aren't effective. They're effective against heavy cavalry, though. I mean, they're still gonna fuck up your uh... Oh, he doubles though. Oh, yeah. But still, though, it's like, look at that shit. He nearly fucking died. I'm pretty sure you can heal at a fire, though. Uh, do I wait though? So, Lons definitely wants some of this XP. Yeah, 90 you want to hit. That should be fine. Alright. Eh, uh, we'll throw her up there, eh? I actually... It kind of cuts off the bottom of the screen here. Maybe I should check, uh... Hmm. It says it's, uh... Will full screen kill the recording? I don't know. Maybe I check? Seems fine. Alright.
Yeah. Okay, it seems like the solution was just to stop playing on windowed mode. I don't know, some games have trouble in full screen mode, like, I don't know, OBS has trouble picking them up sometimes. So that's why I had it just... Oh. It's one of these guys. Gross. Oh yeah, and Pauline, is she in range of both? Hmm, that is kind of gross. And these are ones that he's actually effective against. Check out, I just want to check. How's that damage look? Don't kill yourself, though. He doesn't double, that's... The issue with that. Yeah, I should probably just use some culinary or bread. Does he have one on him? He does. Yeah, I'll put him just sitting right beside her here. Okay. Oh, they might be able to kill Dion. Ooh. Miss. <laughs> oh man, I'm good at strategy games. But Dion... So now I'm losing money if I don't restart. Countryside is so poor, I can't even hear a single coin clicky. It took me half a day to find a bottle of wine. Not much left the ammunition, but I'm asked to provide artillery to support the front line. The Duke Banner really likes to boss people around. Who is that woman? Artillery officer Paula May. The one who arrived later. Also, she's often lazy. She won't be absent in crucial moments. I would say she's either particularly sly or particularly good at reckoning. Masi Lance. You seem to know her very well. That's unexpected. Huh? Uh, it's very, uh, it's just that I've known her for the longest among my colleagues. She seems to be the same age as Josephine and looks like a very experienced artillery officer. Huh? Well then, Mademoiselle Paulette, I'm counting on your artillery support. This is the new commander and Napoleon's sister. It looks like she's a capable person. It would be a profitable deal if I can get along with the Bonapartes, both sis, brother and sister. No problem, I'll get the job done. My ammunition reserve is low though, there's enemy artillery nearby. Maybe I can find something I could be left behind. They left behind. Find the trophy chase. Oh, is it this chest right here? Is that what they're saying? Yeah. That's exactly what they saying. So they do effective damage against the lands. Yeah, you can't kill. How we doing there? Yeah, that's a uh, guaranteed kill, it looks like. Follow me, crash them. Alright, we already checked this. It's... Oh yeah, look at that. I don't kill there. It's only 64 hit too on that. Yikes. I should just hit this guy with- ooh, it's still not a high hit, only 69. Yeah, I'll drop the 5% to lose the counter. Potential, yeah.
Oh, actually, yeah, he does enough when he's beside Polly. And he can take the counter, but he didn't need to, so that's fine. Fine. Dion doesn't need experience. He's the J again. Yeah. So, campfire. Wait here. I guess I could also save just because I yeah, can't create save file. Let's uh, uh, yeah, get rid of these old saves. Actually, can they reach? Yeah, that's probably not a great idea. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just plunk her down right there then. Mm, and they're not moving forward. I'd prefer not walking Pauline into that, man. But on the other hand, Miarat would like to walk into that. Ah, uh, he can't reach there though. Ah, yeah. She's just barely not in range. Whatever, we'll just put Mira out there. And we'll see what happens. Should I inspire? Eh, no. Look, I checked the range, but yeah, that's not happening. Yep. I want an end turn, not to spend game. Ugh. You gotta dodge these, man. Okay, you just still double at least. This guy can't dodge shit. Is he double? No. Nine damage. Yeah, sure. Yeah, fuck him up, drunk lady. Eh, uh, can Lance kill this bitch? Hey, he might be able to. Fuck it, give it a shot. How's his damage look? Well, he dies, so... It's not looking great. But she should theoretically be able to kill. HP, speed. Alright, well, speed at least is good. Oh, hit chance, okay. Alright. 
Nothing fantastic, but like, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Oh yeah, we're not a. Uh... Oh so, how far are they moving? It's just him really getting into range. And is effective against, you know, both of these. Oh, well now it doesn't really matter. Ah, well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oof, isn't this the French army of beggars? How dare they show their face here? Look at their miserable equipment troops. And they want to confront us with this. Push the front line forward and teach those mud-covered bumpkins a lesson. Does she double back? She might. No, okay. Yeah, those ones seem to have decent speed. Ooh, and they're moving too, okay. But... <clears throat> Rest in peace, artillery dude. He kind of... Ooh. Okay, no, he doesn't get the counter good. I just saw that 10 damage and I was like, uh oh. Might have fucked up. But it's fine. Yeah, we can get rid of this guy pretty reliably, yeah. Eleven damage, ninety-one percent. Um. Well, I mean, what's his range look like, anyways? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty safe then. Here, old hero, experimental musket. And then I will have lawns, hopefully finish. Yeah, nice. And now this guy's gonna hit Murat. Yeah. Oh, this guy doesn't even two round him. It's pretty easy. Oh, Murat doubles, cool. Did she get in range? I feel like no. Uh, yeah, that's on range of him, so... Safely move regardless of whether I'm killing him or not this round. Oh, his saber is about toasted. I will go ahead and just bread in the bush. Hmm. I don't feel like doing the calculation, so we'll just have bread as well. Can you, um... Uh... I guess this probably works well. That's one way, you can't just switch the order though. Also, yeah, I think I do want that on Pauline. Yeah, it's fine. Wait. Not super surprising he'd go for longs. So if I can, like, attack him without killing him... That'd be fantastic. Yeah. It will do that. Yeah, 
Crush them? Almost level, but not quite. That's fine. Does expiring give any experience? I'm just kind of curious. Nope. There you go. 15 damage. You have no one to run. Surrender or die. Whatever, we'll take the armor. This is impossible. How did they defeat me with so few troops? She must be a witch, damn it. Victory! Oh yeah, you lose a lot of money for a defeated unit. Well... For future, let's not get someone killed within the first, like, minute. We achieved such victory with such limited forces. She's just as incredible as her brother. <gasps> Oh, Mademoiselle Bonaparte is truly a talented commander. Hello, that's not what you said before. Yes, sir. Indeed, Commander Bonaparte's performance proved to be both excellent and impressive. You're very different from uh, who joined the army just for money and power. I look forward to working together with you in the future. You're all too kind. How am I worthy of the general of the army if I can't handle this kind of difficulty, right? Marquis de Lafayette. Always taught us is uh, this way at the Ecole Militaire. Mm. Well, it seems that you guys still treat me as an outsider. We still have many enemies to deal with, so let's dispense with formalities, shall we? Marquis de Lafayette, what have you taught them? But don't be so cautious. Uh, don't be so cautious and official. Just call me Pauline. I'm glad I could keep the casualties of my army to a minimal this time. Yo, yes. Uh -huh, interesting. This young lady is so interesting. It's not bad to have such a commander. Having said that, Paula, you're a very... Uh, you're a veteran officer in the army, and the military discipline must be followed. <laughs> Don't you worry. With such a good boss, I'm willing to work hard. <laughs> Great. With the help of an elder like Paulette, I'm truly ah. relieved. What? Elder? I'm only 27 years old. Excuse me, is Pauline Bonaparte here? Who's yelling outside? Is this Cossette? No, Chapter 4, Night of Dusk. Well, that's for next time, but uh... Oh, does it just go right on to the next one? Oh, okay, well I guess that's it then. Oh yeah, it is 28 minutes, I don't know, it felt like much less time. Anyways, um, yeah. A little bit of a blunder there at the start, but uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it for chapter three. I'll see you soon for chapter four, and yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, like to see more, please subscribe, and yeah, see you later.